Hi everybody, welcome to Tuesday. We're going to do our word reading today, but before we do, we need to do our sounds. So let's have a look. We're going to start with 5B. I'll read them along with you. Okay, so this is A, O, E, I, O, U, U, O, E, E, O, U, U, I, E, I, S, K, J, A. Now phase five, C, Ch, Ch, J, M, 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 R. Z, s, s, a, a, ia, ia, a, a, e, 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 o, o, o. O, a, a, shul, shun, sh, sh. Okay, well done, fantastic. So let's just come out of that and go back to our normal slideshow. Okay, just get full screen. So Kathy says. Hello everyone, welcome back. It's phonics time again. And Rex says, we're ready. Are you? First of all, children, we're going to have a quick starter where we read and sort some words we have already learnt. Okay, so let's have a look. We've looked at these already. We've learnt these ones. Just have a go, see if you can remember what sounds they make. Super job. So you've had a really good look at those. Let's see if you were correct. So the D, the G and the E make the J sound. It's a trigraph. The M and the B make a M mm sound. Uh, the, T, the T, the U, R and the E make a CH sound. That one's a hard CH. And finally the T, the C and the H make the CH sound well done if you were correct so let's have a look at some words have a look at this one at the bottom have a go at sounding it out if you know it you can just say the word so um this one's got the a which actually we say as an ah. Oh. so i'm going to sound this one out you can join in with me what oh, ch, watch Okay, super. So we've got the word watch and we need to work out which box it's going to go into. Have a go now if you're, um, and see if you can spot which one it goes into. Right, let's have a look. Well done if you have put it into the TCH. That's the spelling of the ch sound in this word. Okay, let's have a look at the next one. Read that one if you can. Brilliant. So this word says b -r -i -j, bridge. So um, have a look, see where you think that we're going to sort this word, which box we're going to sort this word into. Super, it's the D, G and the E. I know the little bit at the bottom will be missing off, but it was a G. Okay, super job. Let's have a look at the next one. Sound that one out.
fantastic well done everybody if you spotted it so i'm going to sound this one out again it is a mm, thumb so have a look see which uh, category it goes into brilliant goes into the m and the b the m is spelt as an m and a b together let's have a look at the next one Ooh, okay have a go at reading this one fantastic okay did you spot where it goes i'm going to sound it out K -ach. catch right and do you know which um category it's going to go into absolutely right it's the t the c and the h they make the ch sound right let's have a look at the next one okay have a go at reading this one Fantastic. Okay. So let me read this one and we'll sound this one out. L -a -m. Okay. Do you know which box it goes into? Which category? Absolutely right. It is the M and the B. The M and the B makes the M mm sound in this word. Mm, okay. Have a go at reading this one. Super job. So this one says p -i -k -ch picture. Have a look and see where that needs to go, which sound it needs to go underneath, which graphene. Great. So this one needs to go into the T U R E, which makes the ch sound in picture. Ooh, okay, have a go at this one, everyone. Great job, okay. So I'm going to sound this one out. M -i -x -ch -a. Mixture. Did you work out which grapheme it's going to go under? Well done, it's the T U R E. And make, this makes the ch sound. Have a go at reading this one. Brilliant. Now it's my turn. B -a -j. Badge. Let's have a look. Did you spot where that needs to go? Super. It's a D, the G and the E. Right. But that one's over. Let's see what we're going to do this week. Kathy's saying, this week we're going to learn a new phoneme. Sound. This one is a bit tricky, so Miss Coleman will explain. Okay, so um, let's see what Kathy's saying first. This week we're looking at the z, z sound. It is never written as a Z and a H, and is normally an S. So this is what it looks like. We write it, this is the grapheme, the purple one, as a S. However, the sound is a little bit different it's a zzz. so to make that sound i am putting my teeth together and i am blowing out through my teeth zzz. you have a go at that sound now okay good effort now let's have a look what kathy's saying next the zzz sound has some word endings which are the same have a look at the at the endings to the words on the next few slides and listen to how Miss Coleman says them. Um, so, this one's a little bit tricky. So, I've put um, a sound up and then, so Kathy's saying what it looks like and Rex is saying what it sounds like. So, it sounds like zhun, zhun, zhun. You have a go at that now. Zhun. Good try. Right, have a look at the next word ending. Kathy is showing us what it looks like. Rex is showing us what it sounds like. This one is jewel, jewel, jewel. Have a go at that now. 
jour. Okay, let's have a look at the final sound. This is the uh, final ending to the word. This is what it looks like. So um, Kathy's showing us what it looks like. Rex is showing us what it sounds like. J, J. Now it's your turn, you have a go. J, super. Right, so Rex is saying, okay, now we have seen the graphene, we have got to find it in words. Have a look at these words and see if you can find where our new uh, phoneme is. Okay, so we've got new graphemes, new phonemes. Let's have a look. Can you see one of the graphemes in this word? Okay, so have a look. Okay, so this one's quite tricky. I'm going to sound this one out for you. T -r -e -j -a. Treasure. You can see here that the uh, e and the A together make an E sound. We've done that one already. The S makes a Z sound. And the U, R and E makes an U uh sound. So it's treasure in this word. Right. There we go. There's the S. And you can see the ending Z in that one. Right, have a look for one of the graphemes in this word and then look for the ending. So we're looking for the zh. Super. Well done, Rex says. It's the s in the middle, the s in the middle that makes the zh sound. And the ending for this word was zhun. Jun. Okay, let's move on. Can you see, first of all, the sound j, j, and see if you can see the ending in this word? Super. So this word has got the, en the j sound in, and it has got the ending jul, jul. Okay, so let's go back and read the words again. So, treasure, 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 vision, 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 usual, usual, usual. Okay. Let's see what Rick says. Well done. Now let's read some more words with these graphemes in. Okay, have a go at reading this word. That's it. It's measure. It's m e j a measure. In this word, the e and the a say e. Eh. The e and the a say e. Eh. The s says the s says z and the u the r and the e say uh in this word m e z uh measure okay let's have a look at the next word have a go yourself super so this word has got the z sound in the middle and it has got and it's got the yul at the end. So let's sound this one out. K a j yul. Casual. Casual. This means quite this word means quite relaxed. Okay, have a go at this one. Fab job. So this one says we've got the, um, this one looks like a split digraph, but it's not. This one says, this E says E eh, and this E says E. We've got the Z sound and we've got the UN sound. So let's sound this out. T, E, L, E, V, E, Z, UN. Television. 
it's a long word. Right, let's go back and have a look at some of the meaning. So um, measuring is um, when you're seeing how long or short or wide something is. Um, you normally use a ruler for this. Um, casual, this means quite relaxed, so you can describe what someone's wearing. It's not very posh, it's not very um, formal. So these people are in casual clothes. You can be quite relaxed in the way that you do things. You might like to just have a rest quite a lot. Um, so that's what casual means. And I'm pretty sure everybody's got a television. Um, so yeah, let's have a look what Kathy's saying. What fabulous reading you just did. I think you're ready to read the words and match the words to the pictures. Okay, so if your parents have printed this worksheet out, that's absolutely fine. If not, you can have a go at matching it up on the screen now. So um, make sure that you pause it. So you've got to draw a line from the word to the picture that it matches. Remember to read the words really carefully. Okay, so I'm going to move on now. Well done if, if you've done that and you've paused the video. We're going to, have, going to have a look at what the correct answers are. Okay, so these are sorted into ju, jun, jewel. So these are the endings with the j sound at the beginning of the ending. <laughs> so in the j sound, We've got treasure, leisure, measure. So treasure, we know what that is. It's normally gold, jewels, things that can make somebody rich. Um, we've talked about measure. Leisure is your own free time where you get to do what you like. And the person in the picture is relaxing and having a nice time. So in your leisure time, you might get to do a hobby, something you enjoy. Maybe it's playing games on your computer or... It's a sport that you like, um, like football or gymnastics or dance, or it might be that you have a hobby like art, something that you do to relax and make yourself comfortable when you've got no other jobs or anything else that you need to do. So let's have a look at the jeun side. Here is vision. That's what you can see. So your vision is how you see. Um, television, we've already looked at that one. And then last of all, we've got decision. So that's when you have to make a choice between two things or more things. You have to decide what you are going to do. And at the end here, we've got jul. So we've got usual. And in this little picture here, we've got what somebody does most of the time, what's normal for them to do. So usual is what you normally do or something that is normal. And we've looked at casual. Unusual, as the little picture says there, is something that's different. And in this picture, if you had spotted it, is the banana is blue when normally it's orange. So this one's a little bit different. So it is unusual. So fantastic. If you've sorted those words out, really good. Have a practice of reading those. Um, if you get some spare time, some leisure time, have a go. <laughs> at practicing some of reading some of these words and spotting the different endings and the zh sound. Well done for today. Let's see what Kathy says. You have done well today everyone. Have a great day and we'll see you back here on Wednesday. Fantastic. So well done everybody and I'll see you tomorrow.